it is St. Patrick's Day Quarantine Education Edition. Uh, today I would like to show you a couple of ear training apps that will really kind of help you sharpen your intonation skills. The first one is called Intune. Uh, I am on an iPhone, so drop a comment below if you're able to find this in other platforms. And I'm going to do a cutaway screen so you can see how this works. But in essence, you're going to hear two tones and you have to decide if one is higher or lower. This one was higher, so we're gonna swipe up. I will tell you that you have to have your finger on the dot. If you try to swipe up from here, it's not gonna work. So put your finger right here and go for it. Yes, the tone is annoying. Good news, bad news. For 99 cents, you can try other instruments. However, I'll save you 99 cents. The clarinet sound is also annoying. But while the clarinet sound is annoying, I did find it a little bit easier to differentiate the pitch. When you get to the end, it will give you a score and it will tell you how you did. In this case, 1.68% of a half step. That is 1.6 cents. Wait, Kathleen, did you just say cent? What's a cent? Tune in tomorrow and I will tell you. The second app I would like to show you is called Harmonize. It's very cute and they have um, added a few little things. What you do is you're given a tone and you need to produce that interval. In this case, what we're looking for is a perfect unison. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna play the note on the right hand side and then you need to get the left hand side to match. If you do in the middle, both tones play at once. That's what you just heard. So here's the right side, here's the left side. So that needs to go higher or lower. It needs to go higher, right? Okay, well that's the same note, but let's hear them together and see if we did a good job matching them in tune. See, there's still some chatter in there. So what I can do in the middle here is I'm moving my finger up and down in the middle to make them match better. So let's see. That's close. It's not perfect. If you listen really carefully, you can hear a wah, 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 wah in the sound. That's what we're trying to get rid of. That Those are called beats, and it's when the sound waves don't get along with each other. Um, the app calls it a wolf tone, which is another way of saying that discrepancy. So here is tone one. Here's tone two. Second one's a little higher, so I'm gonna go to the middle and I'm gonna pull down a little bit. Until the beats go away or stop. So let's try that and see how we did. Excellent, it says. We got within 1.5 cents, which is very good. I mentioned yesterday um, that most people can really hear a discrepancy of five cents fairly easily. When you get down to one or two cents, that is awfully close. If we spend a little bit more time fine tuning that, we might have been able to get a little closer. So I'm gonna take some screenshots of both of those apps, some screen videos, so you can see how they work. So I'm gonna show you one other interval on this since we just did Unison. When you open this up, it's going to send you to a menu and it will say Unison, Octave, Perfect Fifth, Perfect Fourth. So I clicked on Perfect Fifth. Um, not everybody has the sound of a perfect fifth memorized, but that's when you do one, two, three, four, five, one, five, one, five. That's tone number one, and we want to be the other one. So let's see where it is. Well, it's nowhere near what we want. So we're really gonna get up there. Somewhere in there.
If I play in the middle, it'll show me um, what tones I've selected together. So you still, there's, there's still quite a lot of chatter. So what I can do is stay in the middle, and if I swipe up or down, that's going to adjust the tone on the left. I know this is a little bit weird, but it's, it's kind of a game, so it takes a little while to get used to. But I'm aiming for and so let's take this notes together and I can adjust the high note by swiping. Here how it gets better and better and eventually it'll go too sharp. Here's the sample tone. Here's what I produced. They're close. Let's see how we did. It says excellent. We were 0.4 cents away. That's pretty darn good. So keep practicing on that and you'll be able to tune. I would recommend starting with unison. I'd recommend starting with perfect fifth and perfect fourth. Those are the easiest ones to hear. You can also do an octave. Um, that one just takes a lot of work because <laughs> you gotta swipe a long ways. So enjoy that. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you download this app, let me know if you've had success with it. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and it will notify you when I, I put new videos out. I'll try to get through quite a few of them here in the foreseeable future. Thanks.